sepsis is a severe infection with a dysregulated intense host response associated with organ dysfunction. One of the tools that we use at Penn State to rehearse and practice recognition and treatment of sepsis is the escape room. This is administered in our simulation facility and uses aspects of game theory and competitiveness of our healthcare providers to try and promote learning in a new and innovative way while still focusing on the core measures that CMS and the Surviving Sepsis Campaign have mandated. They want every patient with sepsis to receive in a timely fashion. It appears to be septic of unknown source at this time, but I think it's probably from a cellulitis he has on his right lower extremity. So the sepsis room experience begins with providers entering the room and being confronted not with a mannequin or some sort of usual simulation device, but a simulated patient, a live human being. What's hurting you right now? Who's there not alone, but also attended by their loved one, and immediately begins expressing, describing, and simulating symptoms of a severe illness. He's getting worse, you have to do something. The knowledge I have in the sepsis training is very valuable because I use it to save uh, patients that we have here. And also in my role as a uh, resource nurse, oftentimes uh, other nurses would call me when they have issues uh, relating to sepsis and I, I would encourage them to intervene right away and you know doctors would come. So, uh, the sepsis training is extremely valuable. Sepsis, unlike some other diagnoses where you can take your time and ruminate over a list of possible diagnoses, because of the severity of illness associated, compels us to act quickly. So providers are simultaneously assessing and acting and trying to do that in a systematic, organized way while encountering intentional roadblocks and setbacks that are cunningly placed and devised to simulate real-world obstacles to the implementation of your plan. I'm worried with his shaking and with his low temperatures, with his fast heart rate and his low blood pressure that he might have something called sepsis. The most important item is making sure that our staff is prepared to the patients that present here and need appropriate and timely sepsis care. We want to encourage and support all of our staff in learning the right and appropriateness of timely care for sepsis. Sepsis is a life and death issue, which we take seriously here at Penn State. And this is one aspect of training that we employ to help prepare you to recognize and treat sepsis. I am very grateful to have the opportunity to save somebody's life. I encourage all of our employees to take this very important training. To do so, please call the program manager at 287-210.